I'd like to talk a little bit about Tantra. Yes, I've been talking about Tantra in the past and I've been focusing a lot on the fact that Tantra isn't just sex, it isn't just the physical body and the embodied nature of engaging with yourself and with others, but there are different elements to Tantra that are more spiritual, more meditative, more more brainy, less embodied. And I've tried to push that envelope quite a bit because my experience with the understanding of Tantra in other people is that a lot of people associate it with purely physical joy and bliss and sexuality. Let's not traipse around it. Today, I'm going to go the other way. Why? Because there is a point to be made for the embodied experience that you have when you engage with another body. And that takes you away from the purely meditative side into a more experiential side. Tantra is meant to be a combination of both. The point I'm trying to make is that while we feel that any embodied experience is very different from a meditative spiritual one, the result is the same and the goal is the same. We try to connect with the world around us, with the universe at large, in the ways that are at our disposal. Maybe the best way to describe this is again that sense of balance. We need both sides to connect properly in order to get the full benefit of the connection. If we are purely physical, we're missing out on certain elements. We may be able to connect with the person we're currently with, but the wider implications of the connection is missing. On the other hand, if we are focusing only on the meditative spiritual side, we may be connecting with the universe at large, but the connection is very tenuous and imperceptible. It lacks the personal touch. So here's the thing. Next time you're touching someone, try to engage in a way that incorporates both the physical touch, but also the spiritual connection with that other person and through that person with the universe at large. And at the same time, when you next meditate, try and make that meditation into a more physical experience. Do an active meditation. Meditate with other people in the same room and find ways to combine the two wherever you can. And I realize with COVID isolation and limited opportunities to meet other people, this is going to prove a little bit more difficult than it would in normal times. But still, there are opportunities there. If you're not living on your own, you have somebody in your home you could share this with and try and make it work. Let's see how you're doing. And if you have any experience that you'd like to share, please leave a message below in the comments and come back for more next time.